It's like Christmas in Cape Coral today because we have the Myco team showed up with our brand new trailer for Project 1080, and I couldn't be happier because this is one incredible trailer. How about it, guys? Good luck with the new trailer. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You guys did an thank awesome you, job. Thank you. Bill Tweedy and the gang uh, doing the first class delivery of a first class trailer, Bill, like you always do. I'm impressed. Thank you, Sue. Appreciate that. Let's do a little walk around. Tell me what some of the features are of the trailer. First of all, this thing right here, Bill, is insane. I love this because I'm always trying to climb up on the deck of the boat and quickly, and you know, us old guys don't get around too well. Yeah, I was going to suggest, yes, as we get older, it's tougher to get up on that <laughs> boat. So Now let's talk about these uh, custom features like the, uh, the scooter racks, both sides. We gave you some measurements. Yeah, you know, a lot of times, you know, when the poker runners or the racers, they go to the, uh, you know, the race sites and everything, and they've got to get around. So they put their scooters up front here, the small motorcycles, and uh, just pop them right off the race site, and they've got their transportation to cruise around. This paint is, this on aluminum is something new. You're doing a lot with of these, I see, when I went to the factory. Uh, amazing, I saw, I got an all grip chart, I picked my own colors, everything matches the boat. A lot of guys must be doing this now. Well, we, what we've done is, since the very beginning, since the, uh, since the 80s, mm -hmm. we've been painting all our steel trailers. Uh, when we got to the aluminum, uh, we said, you know what? Let's basically put our steel trailer business out of existence right. by painting the aluminum. Never have to have rust. So you've got, we use DuPont products, um, and so I call this aircraft quality, right. which means it's not going to peel off like most manufacturers. And uh, so, like you said, whatever you want, we've got 5,000 different colors and hues, so you can pick whatever you want for to match your boat. Let's talk about these, uh, these bunks and how you're doing this fire hose wrap. Obviously, it's rugged but it's going to be soft on the gel coat and uh, not going to scratch. But I haven't seen that before, too. Uh, that's something new, or you've one, been doing that for a while? One of the new things we've been doing, we've, we've been using sailcloth like a Dacron. Um, lowers the coefficient of friction so that the boat slides off on and off easier. With the standard carpet, you know, we've got the best of the best, but still it wears over the course of years. This stuff right here is just bulletproof. It's, it's fire hose. Yeah. And we have to heat it up and mold it, you to know, stretch it around, it, stretch it around. And then we use all stainless steel fasteners underneath stainless steel, you know, uh, staples and everything to put it in place. These uh, LEDs throughout the trail are both the actual marker lights, obviously, which are the these yellow or amber uh, LEDs. And then like you did on my Nortec trailer before, these upward facing white LEDs on every stringer, every cross member of the trailer on both sides. So we must be. God, there must be 20 lights. Uh, those are a big hit, too, I'm sure. Oh, it's incredible. I won't take any credit for this because it was back in about 1989, no, 1995 when a gentleman with, a, with an old fountain, you know, an ICBM came in, and he had him at the Sarasota ramp, and I go, wow. <laughs> and so, Myco being the very first trailer manufacturer to use LED lights in the business back in the, uh, in the 90s, uh, we started doing it. Uh, guys love them for cruising down the highways. What I love it for is at nighttime when the trailer is in the water, mm -hmm. you have those lights on. It looks like a landing strip, and you're oh, coming right up on the Oh, that's a great idea. Like I, never, and, I never thought and, about uh, that. And it's just it's, it's incredible. So, yeah, that's a, that's a, an option. It's not an expensive option. No. With yours, we put them on every cross member. Yeah. Um, but on most of them, we put them on every other cross yeah, member. Yeah, okay. The suspension system we use is Dexter torsion axles. Uh, we've been using Dexter for over 30 years. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they have the best torsion suspension. Um, torsion means basically independent suspension. Uh, where the old trailers you've seen with leaf springs, you know, joining everything together, the torsion is totally independent. So when you tow, you have to tow the trailer extremely level. Right. Because if you don't, you're going to put more weight on the front, more weight on the back. Yep. So make sure they're, they're towed level. All our tires are all 16 inch. Um, this is load range E. Uh, this is an 18,000 gross eight lug. Uh, again, the best of the best we've got. What's really good is the aluminum wheels are powder coated aluminum wheels. Okay, great. Whereas most manufacturers will give you an aluminum and it's raw aluminum and it starts pitting. After, oh, within a year. Yeah. I'm and, going and, in salt water, yeah. Through. You yeah. won't have to worry about this. Awesome. The awesome. airtight hubs, which yep. are, again, um, 
an, an upgrade. Yeah. Um, basically, you've got a little tiny bladder here. Right. And what you do is you've got your little bicycle pump thing. You give it one squeeze. Yeah. You see the accordion bladder pop out. Right. It pressurizes the whole system. Right. So that nothing's going to get in there. Now, Bill, we talked about this. This is a huge feature for me, these cutouts, because I'm going to so many poker runs, and I'm going into a marina. There's not a boat ramp anywhere to be found, and I'm at a marina. They've got a forklift, and I go, go ahead and lift her off. Now we've got these cutouts. I'm just going to get my own set of custom straps so I can get on any forklift that can lift a 10,000, 12,000-pound boat, and I'm going to strip strap this. We don't have to play around with lifting the boat, blocking the boat. Boom. Yeah, what, what's happened is our, our heritage is obviously race you know, from back in the 80s. And every trailer we build over 30 feet has sling slot cutouts, always has been. So Don King, who's our engineer, um, has designed these strap cutouts so they coincide with the sling slot cutouts of the boat. Right. And uh, so you've got a set here and you've got another set right here. Right. So again, you got uh, you can have it lifted off or you've got the wet wash and retrieval. Beautiful. I don't think there's a better trailer. I mean, for me, this is perfect. It's custom built by Myco. This is what you guys do. I think you do a great job, and I just think it keeps getting better. Looking at this trailer, I'm so excited, and I can't wait to get Project 1080 up on top of this, and I just want to drive down the highway with a big smile on my face. Well, you know, you and me both. I tell you, after doing it for 35 years, that's what it's all about. All right, Bill. The end customer Thank you very, very much. Appreciate you. Thanks, Stu. Okay.